As we continue our trip around the world, we head into today's kitchen for some authentic South American food. And here to take us on this culinary tour is Ingrid Hoffman, host of Food, the Food Network's Simply Delicio. Delicioso. Delicioso. What the heck? You guys have been having too much of my pisco sour. Did you save me, Annie? That's oh, my you recipe, made that? by the way. Yes. Delicious. Thank you very much. Delicious. I didn't get to try it, though. <laughs> it's darn good. So we've got some authentic things from the region. What do we have we've here? We've got some. We're starting with canchita, which is what you actually plate ceviche typically with this if they want to which one is that this that is one. the canchita actually try some these are really good they're corn nuts it's popcorn that doesn't pop towards the outside but oh. towards the inside isn't that good it's delicious mm -hmm. oh it's a gosh, great yeah. drink Brunchy. chaser that too, feels by the like way. it's very healthy okay it is very good what's a good chaser it's a drink chaser why okay. yeah, for the pisco sour you were having next to it okay. mm -hmm. we've got some ají amarillo this uh -huh. is a typical yellow ají from peru Okay. And it is. It's, it's like got, a pepper. Or? It's it's spicy. It's got uh -huh. forty thousand. Like let's say a poblano's got about eight thousand uh, of the units of what makes it spicy. This has forty thousand. It's very fire engine hot. Okay. But it has a berry like flavor. Okay. It's really oh. good. Used in Huancaina sauce, mm -hmm. your classic Peruvian salsa. We've got ceviche. Which I you love all have that too. Great. Do you want to try that? Mm -hmm. you do, you go yes, first. you yeah. should. That's oh, that's so good. And that you eat with the canchita. You do. And then here we've got this mm. black mm. mint. Oh, yeah. This mm. is uh, black mint used typically in Peruvian yeah. cuisine. I wanted to bring a lot of Andean flavors. Sure. Uh, you know, not the, the typ typical things. What do you things. use that for? This you use to make your typical Huancaina sauce. In, in it's a probably like the staple of if you've gone to Peru you've had one caina sauce it's also used in many stews and sauces mm -hmm. it's a black it's mint like a staple okay in, in yes it's right. in the family of the marigold mm -hmm. and uh, it's a black mint then we've got of course now this is plantains, all of Latin America like plantains plantains right. and these are patacones or fried plantains these are in their green form mm -hmm. but you can use them ripe they turn completely black now, this is actually really good for you, and that's one of the misconceptions that people think Latin cuisine should be fattening. It's so healthy because it's all natural right. food, and that's, you can bake so it. Good. You don't need to necessarily fry it. And here's one of what my makes the avocado avocado different, though. The Are they different? Oh Why? Because once you taste that, you will never eat a regular avocado. America. This is a Chilean Haas avocado. Can you get those, though, in, Amer in America? You can and get in those, of course, in America. For Chilean. Oh. Chilean Haas Chilean. avocados. When the Mexican uh, and mm. California mm. avocados are out of season, that's when we have Chilean Haas. Except they've got more natural mm. fat. Mm. So they're creamer. That's and it's delicious. great fat. It's good. It's the good it's fat. It's the good fat. It's the one that makes you offset the bad one.